Probably the first time I realized that I loved to draw was when I was going into high school and my mom had tried to get me to play all kinds of instruments and had me in band and had me in piano lessons and had me in choir and all these things. She was a musician um, for, oh, just from an early age. And I just never picked it up, any of that up. I just didn't like it. And I just told her, I just don't want to do anything musical. <laughs> and she was like, okay, we'll try do an art class in high school. So I okay. And I took a uh, art foundations class and I loved it. I was just up in my room, drawing away all the time. Um, I just fell in love with it. I mean, it really was in high school that I like, took off with my the type of drawing that I do, that I still do. I submitted some of my work and then into various little like competitions and stuff, and I won some awards and stuff from my, from my work, and that was just so exciting to me. And I, I, this is all I wanted to do. I ended up going to VCU. And I really struggled my first year in Art Foundations because I just had really thought that I'd honed what I did and they wanted to kind of rip it apart <laughs> from me and I was just very uncomfortable with it. You know, everyone had all kinds of different styles and everybody was just starting out and I really felt like I wasn't just starting out and I, I knew basically what I, kind of stuff I wanted to do. And, um, I didn't feel very encouraged in it um, <laughs> until the end, um, that last year and a half-ish of college. What I would really love to see happen in my artwork in the future is, uh, you know, really just to get more direction from the Lord about where I should go with it, um, more immediate, and then um, you know, I'd really love to do gallery work for full time while at home and having kids. I think that would be ideal. Um, and just keep being able to do what I love and uh, for the Lord to really show me how to progress and get better. I would really like to see the church as a whole just, um, just kind of embrace art and artists um, in a fuller way. I think that um, is an area that kind of people struggle with, really understanding gospel implications within all types of art forms. And uh, it's really, really an exciting thing. The gospel is, to me, God redeeming a fallen people and um, doing so by sending his only son and uh, having him suffer for us um, for a purpose that he um, that he really only knows the fullness of, but um, that he sent his son to suffer for us because he loved us so much. The way I come up with, you know, the images that I draw um, is really out of um, just kind of a feeling of honesty and rawness that I want to convey and that um, I just really feel comforted by while I'm, you know, in the process of doing them. And it's kind of like in a way that confession of sin is really just, it's just so good for the soul to confess and um, to just lay it out there because the Lord is not surprised by, <laughs> by it. But I don't choose dark images just for the sake of dwelling in darkness, but that kind of feeling that the Lord knows um, kind of those aspects of life.
what I really try to do with my artwork is convey a not so pretty image and make it seem beautiful, make it look beautiful. Um, and I think that that is what grace is, um, taking something ugly and making it beautiful.